After several failed attacks on Professor Babagan Hazulum in his mission to resettle internally displaced persons in northern parts of Borno State, the governor alongside Chief Whip of the House of Representatives, Mohammed Tahir Mungulu, are here to visit the returnees. Governor Babagan Azulung, who personally participated in distributing the food and non-food items, as well as 275 million naira cash to 85,000 returnees in Mungunu, pledged support for all returnees. This community was displaced by the insurgents a few years ago, but they have returned back home. Glory be to God, because the community had the opportunity of accessing the farmlands last year. But still, they need to be supported because not all of them had access, have access to the agricultural lands. That necessitated the need for the Bono State government to come and support them with food and non-food items, especially during the Ramadan period. From there, the governor proceeds to the newly established Federal Polytechnic Mungunu, where he expressed satisfaction with the level of work, but however asked the contractor to redouble his efforts. At the General Hospital Mungunu, where the governor visited those on admission, he assured them of government's willingness to expand the health facility due to the high demand. He equally approved 20 and 30 percent increase on the basic salaries of the workers working at the hospital as an incentive. The population of this very important community has increased tremendously. And there's the need for the government of Borno State to strengthen the hospital, not only in terms of human capacity development, but also in terms of equipment and other basic infrastructures like lightning and water supply. Some of the beneficiaries appreciate the governor for the gesture. They, however, ask for more security along the Mongolobaga access. The residents are hopeful when peace is fully restored in the area, the economic activities will receive a boost.